Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Red Rock 4x4 full width crawler front bumper fitting all 2020 and newer Gladiator JTs. So if you're looking for a functional front bumper that's going to provide a lot of protection and some very unique styling, this is definitely a great choice to take a look into. Now this bumper is going to come with a full width design which will be great for the Gladiator owners that are looking for a lot of protection not only up front but on the outer sides in front of the tire and the fender. And what I really like about this bumper is not only are you getting the protection down on the bottom here but you're also getting a tubular construction that's going to provide some more protection to to this front area here up top. Now this is also gonna come with angled up ends, so if you are looking to take your Jeep off-road uh, and you are concerned about your approach angles and your ground clearance with a full width front bumper, this is gonna allow a little bit more room on the front in that situation. This will also come with a couple of other different features that make this very functional. Not only is this going to have a solid steel construction for front end protection, but it's gonna come with recovery points on the front, which will be great if you take your Jeep out on the road and you need a front recovery point if you ever get into a sticky situation. This will come with a recessed winch plate, which will allow a winch to be mounted up with a pulling capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. And this is also going to come with light mounting options if you're looking to add some visibility to the front end of your Jeep. So overall, this is gonna add a lot of function, a lot of benefits, and it's going to add a lot of protection and styling in the meantime. Now I do like the fact that this is going to come with tubed outer ends and that bull bar in the middle. It's going to give it some very unique styling and even there's going to be some cutouts on the middle and the side here that will add to that off-road styling that you may be looking for for the front end of your Gladiator. Now with all of that being said, this is going to come in at roughly $650 and in my personal opinion I think that that's a great price for what you're getting out of this bumper. Now in comparison to some other choices on the page, what I really like about this bumper is the fact that it's going to have some very unique styling. Not a lot of other bumpers will integrate not only a bull bar up front, but the extra tubed outer end. I think that complements this very well and it's going to add a lot of protection. Now, some less expensive choices on the page may not be for a full width front bumper. They may not come with all of the features that you see here. They may be for a mid width or a stubby front bumper that won't allow uh, the protection that this will. And then other more expensive choices are usually gonna be for those full width options. However, they may come with a couple of extra bells and whistles, including light mounting options integrated to the bumper itself or a fully recessed winch plate. So overall, it kind of comes down to your personal preference in design. However, if you're looking for a more affordable choice for a full width front bumper, it's going to offer a lot of features and a lot of styling in the meantime, then this is gonna be a great choice. Now, as far as install is concerned, I'm gonna give this a very easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It's gonna take you a couple of hours to get the job done with basic hand tools. So speaking of that install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, an 18, 16, and eight millimeter socket, three eighths inch drive ratchet, a trim removal tool, and an electric ratchet. So the first step to taking our front bumper off is to remove the upper splash shield. For this step, you're either gonna need a trim removal tool or a pop clip removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. So there's six clips on the front and then there's gonna be two clips on either side on the frame rail. I'm just gonna use that removal tool and just pop those right out. So once those are all out, what we can do is just lean this forward and remove our upper splash shield. Next, we can remove our lower splash shield. What I'm gonna do is remove the clips at the front with that same trim removal tool that I used before, and then we can remove the screws in the back. Next, with an eight millimeter socket, we can remove the two screws holding in the back part of our splash guard.
Now once the screws are removed, what we can do is just pull back and remove our lower splash shield. Next we can remove the skid plate on the front using a 16 millimeter socket. We can remove the two bolts in the front on either side of the frame rail. And then once those are out, we can just give it a good push up. And it should come right off. So once the skid plate is off, we'll be able to access the bolts that are holding our bumper to the frame rail. I'm gonna take an 18 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove the four nuts on either side of the frame rail. And we can repeat that for all six studs. So on the outer passenger side frame rail, we're gonna have our wiring harness for our fog lights here. I'm gonna use a trim removal tool to pull that out of the frame. And then what we can do is just disconnect this and get this out of the way so we can better access the two studs on the outside of the frame. Then we can just continue removing that hardware and then we can pull our bumper off once these are removed. So at this point, what we can do is pull our bumper forward and remove it from our frame. So before we install our new front bumper, I wanted to stop down, tell you guys a little bit more about it and what benefits that you're gonna get out of this new setup in comparison to your factory front bumper. Now starting off with the overall construction, this is actually gonna be roughly the same length as your factory front bumper as a full width or a standard width front bumper. Now what I really like about this new option in comparison to our factory one is that even though this is gonna be the same length, it's gonna have angled up ends on either side which will allow some better approach angles uh, and better clearance while you are off-roading uh, while you're on the trail. Um, now what I also like about this is the fact that not only in the center are we getting some protection for our grill with that tubular construction, but we're also getting a lot of protection on the outside uh, with our tubular construction there, and that's gonna provide some protection to the fenders as well as the front of your tires. Now, in comparison to the factory front bumper, this is going to be a lot stronger, made of a steel plate and steel tube construction. That's gonna be able to take some abuse while you're out on the trail, and it's gonna have a nice textured black powder coat finish on top to protect that steel underneath and add a more aggressive and off-road look, especially in comparison to our gray factory plastics here. Now, as far as recovery is concerned, on our factory front bumper, we're gonna have two standard tow hooks. Those usually come standard on any Jeep, but those are gonna be great if you are out on the trail and get into a sticky situation and you really need a recovery point on the front. However, they're not gonna be as efficient or useful as a welded D-ring mount like we see here on our new front bumper. Now this is gonna come with D-rings, but that is going to make for a solid recovery point if you ever get into a situation where you need some uh, point of recovery on the front end. 
Now on the topic of recovery, this is also going to have a recessed winch plate there. Now this will be able to hold a winch with up to a 12,000 pound pulling capacity and it's going to stay out of the way of the grill for better airflow to your cooling components that are behind your grill, which is incredibly important. Now I would like to call out the fact that this is not going to accept the factory fog lights. You won't be able to switch those over, but this is going to make up for it in the fact that this is going to have four mounting locations for accessory lighting. So if you'd like to mount up a light bar or pod lights on this front bumper, this will allow you to do so. So overall, this is going to be a big step up in protection, in styling, and in function in comparison to our factory front bumper. So what do you say we go ahead and bolt it up to our Jeep? So what we can do now is mount up our front bumper. This is gonna have four studs on either side that are gonna slide into the factory mounting location. And it should sit on the front of the Jeep just like that. So now that our bumper's on, what we can do is take our flat washers, our lock washers, and the provided nut, and we can start to thread that on to all eight studs, and then we can go back and tighten them up. So now that all of our hardware is hand threaded on, what we can do is tighten them up with a 16 millimeter socket. After those outside ones are tightened down, we can repeat that for the other six studs. Last but not least, we can add our D-rings to the front. And once they're secured down, then you're all set to go. So that is going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and products just like this and always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.